Hello, my dear friends and comrades. Welcome back. I am Madneck, live streaming, playing Torchlight Butter, and we have healed again on live stream. With Torchlight you. Butter. Torchlight Butter. Yes. You can butter. take this butter. You can put it on your bread. You can make a toast out of it. I thought you were gonna say something else. No. Oh. <laughs> I know you want me to say something else, but no. Yeah, perfect loop. <laughs> Get right. some grease on there. But this game, it looks... Don't don't like the cartoony version of it. Like, the look of it to confuse you. This game is brutal. Okay? This game is brutal. freaking brutal. Brutal, this game is. Also, um, an awesome thing that... I uh, already said it on my live stream before and recording. The, this is the path inventory, right? So you can put chisel on it. And other thing, there is a shop list, okay? I don't know if you know it. There is a shop list that you can set your pet by your stuff. Like cool. healing potions and mana potions. So basically, you can you barely need to go to town, ever. Every time you get your uh, inventory filled, you just transfer it to your pet, send it to, to the town. It will be back in about a minute or two, you know, depends. And that's it. You just continue on, on you know, killing everything. <laughs> Yeah, in any other game I would say that's OP, but in Torchlight well, you're probably going to get billions of tons of loot. Exactly, yeah. and the, the problem, one of the main problems in, I mean, the the competitors for this game right now is, you could say, uh, obviously Diablo 3, right? And, uh, what do you call Path it? Path of Exile. Of, yeah, exactly, Path of Exile. But it's in better stage, you know, and it's free to play game and whatnot. And whatnot. But it still looks like, a, you know, a Diablo kind of game, right? Dream and whatnot, and uh, the thing is, in in Path of Exile, there's a lot of inventory management involved. I mean, a lot. Okay. Holy crap! What the hell is going on? I'm not about to die. Not. I'm a couple of seconds behind you, so I'm unsure yet. You know, because so I hear you go, "Am I about to die?" I go, "Oh, I don't know." Spoiler <laughs> yeah. alert, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. You see, you can see the mouse as well on the live stream, right? Yeah, and, uh, I'm waving it around like a derp. Yeah, yeah, right on, on top of my character, sorry about that. Well, luckily, DX Story does not pick it up if you choose not to. So, I don't awesome. think it really... I don't think in a game like this, it matters as much if you pick it up or not. I mean, I think in a game like this, if it doesn't get picked up, it might be a little confusing to the viewer. If it does get picked up, maybe one or two people might complain about it, but I think the well, majority... It's, it's right at the might. middle of the screen. For me personally, when I play, I like it right around the middle of the screen, because in the middle of the screen, you just connect it to everything else, right? So, yeah. that's how I like it. I, I'm not playing like, it's on here, right? Or something. Because I am fighting right in front of the characters. Right? So, if I was on the edge here, around this area, when you'll see the live stream in, in a second, and the mob was around here, and I would be firing at it, and yeah, I would like move it from the middle, but since I'm not, kind of reminds me of when I was doing my um, Warhammer Let's Play, and people complained in several videos I didn't have the mouse on, so they didn't know what the hell I was doing because yeah. it's a strategy game. No, it's and in I a strategy like, oh. game. I understand. Yeah, definitely oh, yeah. understand. But I kept I kept saying after every part, don't worry, I'll switch it on soon. I never switched yeah. it on. Yeah, <laughs> <let's play>. forgot <laughs> all the I time. Forgot. Yeah, every time I started recording, I was like, oh crap, I forgot to switch the mic, uh, the mic, the mouse on. Well, I yeah. could stop recording and do that, but as uh, the game might crash in the meantime. Also, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, there's a big spider there. Hello, Mr. Spider, I'm running away. You're not afraid of spiders, are you, my friend? Nope. Oh, this spider Spi looks nice. Spiders are afraid of me! Arr! Should give a spider a hug. Oh crap, I need mana potions. Agarzan. This is the name of this. He sprays acid and does stuff. So as in... Agarzan. Yeah, so as in Torchlight 1, you also have a fame thingy that increases your skill when you hit a fame and whatnot. Uh, what else I wanted to say about it? I don't know, whatever. How's the game so far? Uh, from what I'm seeing of it, I think it looks... 
Now, this is just my opinion. I think graphically and aesthetically, I'd prefer it to Diablo. Why? Well, um, because of the Grimms thing. It's like... Torchlight, for instance, looks like a game where it chose its art style and suits it. Yeah. Diablo looks like a game where it chose an art style that completely doesn't suit it. Where it should have been more like Path of Exile. Yes, I agree. It should be more grim. Because yeah. Path of Exile was like, okay, let's take Diablo 2 and upgrade it to the next level. Yeah, make it HD. Exactly. Simple. Exactly. And Diablo 3 was like, well, holy crap, what the hell. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> there's a huge boss fight here. Um, I need more mana. I need more mana. Okay. Okay, this is a bit nuts. Um, I'm out of mana as well. Punch, punch, you punch, can do punch. It, bro. Yeah, I hope I can. I'm punching stuff. Nice, nice. As long as I crit, I'm, I'm, I should be okay because I have a talent that every time I crit, it actually heals me for about five percent or something. And you see your health going up again and again. Every now and then, I see you hitting a potion or something. Yeah, I, I do pick a potion uh, if I'm dropping below 50% or something, you know, just not to risk well, it. Nice. It looks like you can do 50% of your health in one hit. That's what I saw, friggin' big ass spider thing brought your health down from 100 to 50. Yeah, yeah. They, they do that sometimes. Yes. That's why it would be fun to have a co-op on Elite. Yep. Nice, I dinged and I gained a fame level, so that means two skills at once, that's good. Uh, I'm level 16 now, so yeah, the live stream uh, missed a few levels, but you know, my space conditions are bad, are very bad. Right, so this one is blah 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 blah, that's cool, and this one is blue 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 blue. So you have three talent trees for different things. Yeah. This this is like, more of a shaman thingy because you have the summon wolves and wolf packs and wolf aspects and whatnot. I was wondering what the big orange thing you kept turning into was. It seems oh, this to be one? that fire wolf thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, whenever you inflict a critical hit, up to two neighboring enemies may be savaged by a manifestation of your bloodlust. <laughs> okay. Kind sounds, of interesting, yeah. Yeah, it sounds freaking awesome. And the Hunter's build that I'm, me personally, I want to invest more in that. And I, I'm investing a little bit in Shadow as well. But the Hunter build is more of my, you know, care thingy because it's it's basically the come here, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Basically. <laughs> come at me, bro. Yeah. What's Tundra all about then? Tundra is, uh, it's like DK. Frost decay. It's more of a frost and lightning stuff. Uh, I, I I put only this one because it's like an AOE lightning, like a lightning chain, and that's about it. So essentially, if you were to put it in say World of Warcraft terms, it'd be like an unholy death knight with AOEs. What this one? Yeah. It it would be more of a mixture of if. An enhancement shaman with a frost decay, basically. Right? Yeah. That, that that that's the that's how I see it. But it's again, it's the the frost is is not as uh, as a wow inflicted because uh, torchlight, uh, you know, the company that ruining games, they 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 have their own kind of idea and vision to their games. So, it's not exactly, you know... Well, yeah, they're not just going to steal stuff. But well, I, I guess that they, they do have stuff affected from it, like this, wolf pack, right? Unleash is yeah. a pack of spectral wolves that are spread and attack enemies all around you. But then again, it's not that idea that was stolen directly from WoW, <laughs> you know? It's just an idea, isn't it, you know? Exactly. I mean, they could they could change into anything. They could be a pack of tigers, for all you care. Um... But yeah, when you said runic games, it sounded like you said the group that's ruining games. Oh, ruining it. No, runic. <laughs> runic. The guys that created it. 
Yeah, Which... there's some guy from Runic Games sitting here now, sad face. Yeah. Like, oh, hmm. Runic Games. Did they say we're ruining games? <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's not very nice, bro. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to do here... Uh, I've, I've completely destroyed your train of thought now. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Right. I, I want to invest in this blood hunger because now that every time I will crit, it will heal me 7% of uh, of my HP, which is good. So I imagine what that would stack up to, say, 10 or something eventually. What? What will stack like, up to 10? The maximum rank of healing would be like 10% or something. Oh, uh, I don't know. I got... Uh, I got 4 out of 15, and the next heal rank will be 7.67%. So I guess... So it's entirely plausible that it's about 10 or 15. Yeah, I guess. Maybe even 20. I don't know. I don't Who know. Cares? Think you can help me? Hello, mister. You, you came to rescue us? Thank the guardians. I have managed to keep Snowbell and Sunbeam. What? Safe up here. Wow. I, I think injured his, my leg. Hmm. His, yeah, his babies, I think it was spiders. I thought it was real babies, but never mind. The guardians. You know, now I'm thinking that when Blizzard made Diablo 3, they looked at the portal from Torchlight 1 and went, meh, we'll just copy and paste that over and make it slightly different. <laughs> because it still looks even different from the one in Diablo 2. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one. Holy crap! Over 1k fame. That's cool. But uh, like like you said, the cartoonish art of it, it's kind of it's kind of confusing, right? To the game that it actually is. But if you look at all the, I mean, if you ignore the cartoonish kind of graphics, I mean, I really enjoy it because it's it just throws you all off all the time. Because you see like a cartoony graphic style, art style, and then you punch someone in the face and it just, its corpse explodes to pieces, you know, and splatters yeah. of blood all over and you're like, hmm, you know, <laughs> because you're like, hmm. It destroys. Yeah. It destroys your presupposition of the game, basically. Like, this game must be all like, you know, cutesy and fun and just a bit of action and here and there and you see someone explode into guts and blood and bones and everything and you say, no, it is serious. Yeah. Which I suppose is kind of shocking as well when you first play it. Yeah, in a way it is. Because you you don't ex exactly know what to expect if it's your first time playing any Torchlight game. So. Well, hopefully it's longer than six hours of gameplay and it, it doesn't is. have an online DRM that kills your game. It doesn't have any DRM. It's 60% I... off Diablo price. Yeah, and we all know what we're talking about. Diablo's horrible reputation. Well, it's, you know, it's more of a real money, real, real, uh, real money action auction house thingy. It's that's what, as I as I see it, that's what the game is based on right now. Yeah, make right money. Well, I may be every wrong. game is made for money, but still, not this one. Because this game is $20, right? That's one. It's fully modded. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want, right? And it, there is no DRM to it. I mean, how dumb is it? And I understand the Blizzard excuse that they want to avoid uh, piracy and whatnot, right? But they're promoting it, really. Exactly. They're, they don't do anything except for promoting it right now because it's it's freaking dumb to fight piracy with with DRM that they put on for a that single player. Only pu only punishes the people that bought the game. Exactly, and it's I for mean, a single got player. A yeah, if you got a server emulator or a crack or something that bypasses all that, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Exactly. But the person that bought it, that's a law-abiding citizens, so to speak, they're screwed. Yeah. And that's exactly like what happened with um, Ubisoft games when they had the online DRM. And they crap. removed it. They were exactly. smart enough to remove it. 
Yeah, they were like, oh crap, this is costing us a lot of money and everyone started pirating our game. Yeah. Remove it and put it on a special somewhere and say, hey guys, look, this game is now cheaper and it doesn't have the DRM and a bunch of people are all like, meh, all right, fine, I'll get it now. Yeah, so I, I'll give it a go. a lot of money off that. Because as, as soon as people hear about DRM, even before they, they play the game, right, they're like, oh man, it, it just pull, puts them off, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it puts me off every time I hear like a DRM, you cannot play it if you're not online or blah 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 blah. Why? You know, I bought the game, I can register on the website if you want, whatever, sign in, etc. But why are you forcing me to stay online if I want to play single player? Especially since, basically, we all have connection issues now and then. Yes. You know, there's always a time when someone will be like, oh my internet's fucked. I can't yeah. do anything, I can't log in, or they're moving house or any kind of thing, and they just say, well, all I want to do is just sit down, play this game, and just have a bit of a laugh. But nope, can't play this game because I have to be online for it to work. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know there were probably a lot of people that would be watching, listening, who can agree with this, that they would probably buy games, and if it has DRM, they crack the DRM even after having bought the game. And sometimes it's even necessary when it's something silly like Securon, which completely kills all of your activation limit. Yeah. And then they don't even refund you the activation limit because they say it was your own fault. What, what are you left with? You have no choice then. And then they wonder why people are doing it. Well, company for, for companies forget that without the gamers, there won't be any games. <laughs> yeah. And they also seem to forget that the ones stuck with a DRM are the ones that bought the game. Yep. I mean, a DRM that's safe and secure, that basically says you've got to validate on a server at some point, or you've got to use a particular type of activation that doesn't have a limit, you know, that's fine. But I mean, when you put activation limits on something, well, you've just caused the game a whole lot of stress. Um, oh, saying no. they need to stay connected. Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> There's a big pack here. Come on, crits, crits, crits. Oh, they're all dead. I, I like to use um, Steam as a good example of something that works as a DRM. Because while people would say, oh, well, you need to stay online to use Steam, well, you don't. If you lose your internet connection, you're still connected. You still can play, essentially. yeah. Yeah. So once once line. you launch the game, that's it. I mean, you can log off Steam and you can still play the game. Yeah, you just need to have it activated on Steam for exactly. Steam to recognize that you've got it. And I don't, I don't mind having that. I really don't mind having that because th that kind of DRM, it's like uh, it's so minor that you can barely notice, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. From playing the game. And I'm, I mean, sure, there are people in the world, I guess, that you know, don't even have that inter an internet connection, and they just bought the game from a game game shop or something, right? A game store. And I can, I guess, I can understand their point of view that well, why should there be any DRM at all, even for login or whatnot, right? Yeah. But Your it's the, that group uh, in the world is so. Minor, I guess. I'm not saying that you know what screw everyone <laughs> and whatnot, but you, you get my drift, I hope. Yeah, it sometimes um, the RM is kind of necessary, so you can't really say remove it entirely in all cases yeah. because, well, you would just have people making copies of discs and handing them to each other. Exactly. Um, I mean, as long as copy, as long as your DRMs and copyrights don't affect the customer, then I'm okay with it. And I would feel bad for people that don't have the ability to play games with it. Um, but I mean, what really, really ticks me off is like, say, Grand Theft Auto, where you buy it on Steam and it has Steam Works. So you think, oh, it's a per you know DRM that works, right? But then it also has Games Windows Live and Securum. Two other DRMs. Yeah. So that's three. One of them has an activation limit. And if any one of those DRMs fail, you can't play your game. Just one of the three fails, you can't play it. And that Securom eventually does fail. Yeah. 
I only have one activation left on my Grand Theft Auto 4 now. So I would have to give them a call, tell them to reset it, and while well, what if the number goes out of service, which it will. Eventually I won't be allowed to. Yeah. And then you're screwed. That's yeah, it. Left for the game I can't play, even though two out of the three DRMs work. So you'd think they'd patch shit like that out eventually. But it's so woven into the game that it even causes the game to glitch. So sometimes DRMs are damaging to the game experience, not just as a DRM, but... What do you mean sometimes? Always? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sometimes. Something. But I mean, DRMs can lower the performance of a game even, if it's badly done. I mean, yeah. let's say a DRM is woven into the game so that it checks every single individual file, that makes optimizing that game a pain. Yeah. I can use Grand Theft Auto as an example again. <laughs> I, I cannot agree with you more, mate, because I am the last man that will, like, say, No, DRM is good. Because <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's yeah, bad. It's, like, it, it's a necessary evil in some cases, but it's not something you want, really. It's it's a necessary evil to a point. Okay? Yeah. Because once it, it goes over that point, that's it's not a necessary evil anymore. It's an unnecessary evil. Yeah, basically. Get it. Basically, there's a mark, and you cross it, and you just overkill. Yeah. Oh crap, I'm about to die. I'm dead. Well, I just saw them throwing a whole bunch of purple shit at you. Yeah. Those purple things killed me. <laughs> it looked like black sploosh. A black what? <laughs> <laughs> Black sploosh. What's a sploosh? <laughs> sploosh. You know, semen. Jizz. Oh. Sploosh. Right. Sorry. Eh? Yeah, you, you've been hearing me say sploosh a lot and you don't even know what it is. And I have now no I've told clue. you and now you feel embarrassed. Yep. You know what? You know what? I'll I'll tell you the truth. I usually, when I have no clue about something, I have this rule: just nod and smile. And, uh... So I could have said, "Do you want to drink my sploosh?" And you would have nodded and smiled. Yep. Without knowing, <laughs> would, without knowing what would it means. Like, I would have been all like, "What the? Fuck yeah. Is this guy? <laughs> I it was just a joke." How about sugar do like that? Um, I don't know. You are the sugar baron. Uh, so, this place here that you are in, what quest yes. is this that you're doing? I don't know, I just follow stars and kill stuff. <laughs> you were paying attention. Nope. I, I want you to go here and free my cat. You want me to go over there and kill your cat? Great. No props. Oh, there's a star there, I'll just follow that. Hmm, there's a cat there. What did he say about the cat again? Oh yeah, <laughs> cast a magic spell on him and see what happens. Okay, I this cat is evil. Kill him. I see a bunch of people <laughs> sitting around a campfire. I'm supposed to kill them, I think. <laughs> yeah, I thought I I think you had like a document that says that they cannot be there camping, you know? They're trespassing, so I need to kill them all. Okay, no problems. Then you go back to the guy who gave you the quest and you say, I killed everyone, your cat is now a frog, everything's yep. great. And then yep. he just looks at you, scared as shit, and then just <laughs> says, well done, you did really well, I'll tell everyone about the good work you did. And you go, yay, I got That's crazy. me. <laughs> I did it. Holy crap, there are a lot of necromancers there. Okay. You think you can take on some necromancers? Should be able to. No! Criticals in your face! Nice. What is this? Um, I don't think I should have clicked that. Uh, don't worry, I'll find out in about 10 seconds. Oh crap! Oh crap! I know that I oh. shouldn't have clicked that. <laughs> oh crap! Oh yeah, big things appeared <laughs> when you clicked it. What is that thing anyway? Is it some sort of giant half ball? Holy crap, thing? It, it hurts. I know that much. It hurts. <laughs> oh, 
Come on, come on, criticals, criticals, more criticals in your face. What's that thing called? Uh, something, Pryon, something. No, Pryon, Samu, or something. Pryon, Kuru. Kuru, okay, it's like the text is real tiny for me, so. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm sorry that my internet sucks. No, it's not. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're apologizing for nothing. <laughs> you, can't, you can't stream it in 1080p HD, you know, it's like, it's fine. I wouldn't even be able to stream it in 360p. Right, like, at least I got I wolves. Know. Oh, it, it freaking teleports. Wolves! Wolves back, kill them. They don't do anything, basically. That's, you know those abilities that you take because they look nice? Yeah. Yeah, aesthetic. Exactly. <laughs> the ones you take for aesthetics. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. I'll use that now and then. Yep. I suppose it would be really useful on the easiest difficulty. Like where everything dies in one hit and it's it worked like an AOE against them. Yeah. Or if you get like upgraded it all the all the way, I guess. He was only on like one point or something. Yeah. Because I wanted to test it out and I saw that it does crap damage, so I was like, hmm. But it's good, it's good for range, so... Because you don't need to be rank, in front of it. Nice, I finally the, killed it. On the maximum rank, it might do really well against large groups of mobs, maybe. Yeah, I guess. But the, oh, crap, those freaking guys hit me... very hard. <laughs> <laughs> They're pounding you. Yeah. Yeah, you, you came out of a boss battle, and then you went against a few little ones. And yeah, and they almost killed me. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, like, that's the thing we worship, but no, we're stronger than it. Like I said, this game is can throw you off so easily because you're like, hmm, I'm fighting a beat guy, right? And that, that guy, just like, you can own him, and then you fight some small guys, and they just like own you, you know? And they're just like... like yeah, me and Mer me and Merge are playing Diablo two Diablo two ages ago, and we were up against a couple of bosses and everything, no biggie, easy. And then we ran into a uh, into a castle, and a couple of little skeletons just completely obliterated us. Exactly, because you're you're thinking, well, those little skeletons are nothing compared to the big boss that I just killed, and then they're just, yeah. <laughs> they're just like then the, really then they one hit you. Yeah. <laughs> I want that spell that uh, heals all on my pad. Heals your pants? Yeah, I want that spell that heals my pants, basically. <laughs> You're getting way too big from all this combat. <laughs> okay, so I dinged, which is good. Nice. Cast speed. I don't need cast speed. I'm not a caster. Nah, so, you're all melee style. Yep, my favorite kind of. Well, style. you want you want to have a lot of crit and strength, really, don't you? Mm-hmm. And actually, so every each dexterity point is 0.2 percent of crit or dodge. So that means every five points is is one percent dodge or crit, which is good. Oh, there, there's a fumble recovery as well. Reduces the damage penalty. Uh, what is it? Penalty fan. Oh, if an attack is fumbled. What is a fumble? I don't know. What's um, a fumble? fumble is when you normally, like, let's say you are fumbling a cup. Basically, means when you like don't grab it right and you drop it. Same would say a ball. So, oh right, right. A fumble ball in in football. The, when, yeah, when well, they drop the no, ball, yeah. In in American football, yeah. Yeah, yeah, American football. Which really is gritty run football. Yeah, because they don't <laughs> really use their foot. Yeah, yeah. It, sh it shouldn't have foot in the title they, at all, really. Well, they, they should call it run ball. <laughs> in run ball, hand egg. <laughs> but I mean, they well, you cannot call it feet. hand ball. <laughs> yeah, handball, but there is already a sport called handball. Exactly. <laughs> uh, um, 
They do use their feet, but I mean, it's like for like field kicks and things like that. But I mean, they would say, oh, well, that's the reason why it's called football. And then it's like, yeah, but you know the reason why association football is called football? Because 99% of the game, the ball is being yeah, kicked. using the foot. Yeah. yeah. 99% of the game in American football is either them talking or holding the ball. Yeah. So I'll, I'll call it talk ball. I don't talk know. ball. Let's talk, about, <laughs> let's talk about balls. Everyone, let's all bend over in front of each other and talk about our balls. That kind of game. Which I just realized sounds a, lot, right? a lot like sounds a lot like an orgy, really. Feel everything. But Milka Striders. Milka Striders. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what it said. When I was no, I'm game. about to die. No, I'm about to die. No, run away. I survived. I don't know how. Do you see this uh, Witcher Berserker charge bar? Looks like a Witcher icon on it. The Witcher icon. Um, right at the, uh, above my action bar, basically. Uh, I I can just about see it. It's a small icon for me. Here. I'm mouse overing right now. It says Berserker charge bar. Yeah. Yeah. Basically... Yeah, one. It does look like it a bit. Mm -hmm. Basically, the... Oops. Oops. Basically, the attacks that I'm making, it just fills the bar, and then when it's fully charged, it gives me a few seconds of just going crazy on everything, you know, going berserk, and every hit is a crit, I think. And when once I hit that, I can like destroy packs, huge, huge packs. Oh, that's crazy! No, I'm dead. I ran into something I shouldn't have done. Um. Oh yeah, that that doesn't look very nice to run into, <laughs> but it's a bit, basically if you time your charge bar right, you know, if you build it up mm -hmm. right and you maintain it, you would be able to just run into a large group of people and a boss and just completely annihilate them all. Well, it's it's a bit tricky because if you don't do anything, then you just lose it. You know, like rage. Yeah, but I mean, you could you could like kite a bunch of enemies around, couldn't you? You, ha you still have to punch them from time to time, and if you punch them too many times, then you'll just fill it up and, you know, you burn it. Yeah, you, you don't want to activate it. Exactly. Okay. What do we have on this side? Okay, there's a chest with a question mark on it. I mean, a, a, an exclamation mark. With a question mark. <laughs> Yeah, you and your grammar. Yep. My sweet, sweet grammar. Oh, there we go. Uh, I won't blame. I won't blame you too much. You know, your your English isn't your first language, so it's a good excuse. Is it? Darn. Yeah, it it is. It, it's it's. It, it's not an excuse for anyone living in this country, though, which. It tends to happen a lot, to be honest. Well, it's it's, it's just it's logical. I mean, it's it's not logical, but <laughs> it's pretty stupid. <laughs> but no. in in each country, like in 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 Germany, I bet that there are people that barely speak German, right? I mean, they speak very poor German, or in Israel, they, they speak very poor Hebrew, right? Your pet yeah. has departed. Well, so. You do find it in every country. Yeah. When you ha when you have a very structured and logical language, it becomes a little bit difficult to find those people. Like yesterday, Murta was going on about how spelling in English or something is making learning for children difficult because they don't know how to pronounce certain words because they are not spelled with any particular rules or pronunciation in mind. And yeah. It's bullshit, because you only would look at a word once, think to yourself, what is that word? But then when the moment you're told what it is, it doesn't hinder you anymore, you remember it. Like, if, you, if I spelled the word out to you, friend, and you said, I don't know how to pronounce that, and then I told you, it's friend, I don't think you'd forget, would you? I'm the wrong guy to ask, mate. <laughs> yeah, the complete wrong guy. <laughs> Sorry. 
I mean, some, sometimes there, there are a few occasions that I'm trying to write a word, right? And I write it correctly, and then I just stare at the word and I'm like, is that, that word right. written, yeah, with that letter or this letter? You know, like C, like, uh, we have two versions of, of T. That they're pronounced differently, but in 99% uh, of, of the Hebrew speakers, they cannot pronounce it properly. So, you know, so they just pronounce it the same, like T and T, you know, there's no difference yeah. to it, but there is, it's like C and K, right? In, it's it's not exactly like C and K, but it, it's similar to C and K because uh, C can be a K as well, you know, you can yeah. pronounce it as a K. And that's how they basically pronounce it, even though it's not the same letter. So sometimes I, I write words and I'm like, was that with this letter or that letter? And then I'm trying to actually type it. Uh, oh, okay. I need to burn some stuff here. Uh, I need to. I, I'm I'm writing it with the with the second letter, and I'm like, well, now I'm even more confused, you know. <laughs> like... Yeah. Then then you have to go and get a second opinion from somebody else. Uh, they pro no. They probably just give you that look. You, usually, no. Usually, I just like, you know what? Screw it. Whatever. <laughs> I'll put you know. it as one thing or another. If someone says it's wrong, at least I'll learn. Yeah. No, I, I'm usually well. This looks uh, like better choice, you know, to to write it with. So I'll just write it with this one. I oh. mean, uh, uh, sorry. So like in two T's, is it like they? Like, what's the difference in the sound? Like, is it like one of them sounds tougher or something? Well, one one T, uh, which is in Hebrew, it's called Taf. Taf is the the last letter in the alphabet, right? It's like Z in in English alphabet. And yeah. uh, basically, uh, if if it has uh, a dot in the middle of the of the letter, then you pronounce it as a T, right? And if it doesn't have a dot in the middle of the letter, uh, then you pronounce it as a th. Yeah. Okay? Like th. Uh, like a soft t. Right? And there's another letter, uh, which is the ninth letter in the alphabet. Wow, this is becoming an, a freaking alphabet lecture. <laughs> it is like <laughs> <lecture>. amazing. <laughs> with yeah. Uh, this, I know this language, which is good. Well, I'm fighting yes, this one language you're good at, yeah. tooth fighter here, whatever he is. Um, Did you need something? Yeah, you're rescued, captured, Athelarn man, go away. Um, so the the ninth letter, it's called Tat, right? Tat, and you don't pronounce it as a T or a a T. You pronounce it like the 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 Arab pronunciation. You pronounce it like there's a word uh, in Arab that you say tayyib. Like tayyib is is come on, right? Or yeah. And the the way you pronounce the the first letter of the word like tayyib tayyib, like you you need to pronounce it like this. It sounds funny, but originally you need to pronounce it like that. But because most of the people don't learn it the way they should learn it, it even in in pre 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 one a how is it called? I don't know kindergarten or you know first grades and whatnot they don't teach the the students the, how to pronounce it right so they just pronounce it like that I'm not even sure if the teacher knows how to pronounce it <laughs> correctly so yeah, uh, eventually it's one of those things that could just end up getting lost because nobody knows how to pronounce it anymore exactly exactly but you know uh, you, st you need to pronounce it uh, carefully because if you pronounce it so some words like uh, the word uh, a bed, right? A bed is is written with the uh, with the tet letter, which is the ninth one, right? And you need to say mita with a t, you know. And if you if you say it mita, like a, a normal t, that means death. <laughs> so you know, and most of the uh, most congratulations on your death. Yeah, most people will pronounce it as death. It's is it, instead of instead of bad, you know. So yeah. Oh, there's a I'm boss. Going, I'm going to death. Yeah. <laughs> oh crap! Oh crap! Oh freaking crap! 
it's kind of like say um, in Japanese, where where Japanese is a lot simpler. Like say, for instance, you would have a symbol for say ka, and you would add say two apostrophes, like a quotation mark next to it, and it mm -hmm. would become ga instead of ka. And then like there's another one where it, the symbol for a ha becomes pa if you put a circle next to it. And if it has a um, quotation next to it, it becomes ba instead. But there really isn't much difficulty in pronouncing any of those. It's just in remembering which symbol comes right. next to the letter, you know, well, changes the sound. Li like I said, in Hebrew you have few letters that are pronounced differently, completely different. I mean, the word ah, right? I mean, the, the letter ah, like A, right? You have A, which is the first letter, which is the Aleph, and you have Ha, you know, when you pronounce it from your throat, Ha, right? And you have A. Ah. <laughs> so, and th 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 there are three different letters, and they should should be pronounced differently, but if you don't know how to pronounce them, you always will pronounce them as A, like the first yeah. letter. They'll always be wrong, and then you'll always say something silly. Exactly. Well, it's like, I'm learning Lithuanian, because, you know, Marit is Lithuanian, mm -hmm. and it's the same thing there. There's A, A, and A. <laughs> They're all different, and I don't, I don't ever say them really differently when I'm speaking it, you know? It's like, uh, she's all like, yeah, that was a little bit wrong, but not that bad. Oh, and then it gets even worse, there are three different E's as well. There's E, A, and A, which sounds more like an A. So okay. it's kind of it. They have a lot of different versions of different vowels and everything, which is kind of odd. Different vowels. Like a, yeah, they've got different types of vowels, different types of consonants. Oh, vowels. So vowels, yeah. I thought you said then, vowels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the the structure of the language is kind of strange as well. Like you change words based on past, present, and future, and whatnot, but there are multiple different versions for past, present, and future based on the type of word, mm. you know, like there are five different versions for five different kinds of word and they don't seem to really follow any real kind of rule, so you just gotta remember them all which oh, okay. I'm not very good so, at So it's so. more of a memory game than let's learn <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> It seems like a puzzle kind of thing, really you know, I mean for me learning it I'm just like, alright, which version of this word am I supposed to use here? And she's all like Oh yeah, you gotta use this version. I'm like, why? <laughs> why that one and not this one? She's like, I don't know. You know, I mean, it's, like, it's pretty funny when even the people speaking the language don't know why the language picks a particular yeah. word over another. And then you think to yourself, well, I'm lost. You know, I'm the one learning it and I'm completely screwed. I mean, eventually I'll master it, you know, but it, that's eventually. Well, if it's like, uh, like like you said, if it's a, if it's more of a memory type of uh, language rules, then it's no problem. I mean, you seem like a guy that has some memory uh, into it. Yeah, but when they have like five hundred different rules, and then even then they can contradict themselves, it's kind of you know a pain. Yeah, <laughs> even even for me, it's a pain. At least though, I'm not learning something like Welsh or Gaelic. Those two languages, I'm not even going to attempt to learn those. Like, Why not? Ridic ridiculousness, basically. It's like, if you're, if, well, Welsh is a very complex language. <laughs> it, it doesn't sound that complicated to listen to it, but if you look at Welsh words, they could be like a hundred characters long, even, you know. I mean, you know, in general use, they're not, but I mean, like, if you look at like a Welsh place name, it just looks funny. Uh, no offense to any Welsh people watching, uh, if or they're watching. Someone, yeah. Y yeah no, um, probably nobody will watch it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm just talking to myself here. Yeah. And that Gaelic um, is hard to explain. You'd have to listen to a Gaelic person talking. What's a Gaelic? Know, like, anyway? Gaelic, Irish, and Scottish. It's Irish like, and Scottish. Yeah, they're dif they're different. They're both Gaelic, and they both seem to originate from Pictish. Pictish, from what I have learned, seems to be the oldest known language. This lunch is awesome. Come on. Yeah, 
Pictish was the first known language of England. Okay. Thousands and thousands of years ago. So basically, you're, you're speaking an advanced Pictish. No, it's a completely different language. Oh, Pictish completely died out. It's gone. It was replaced by Saxon, and well, it was like. But what? It was like Rome. <laughs> it was replaced by Saxon. Then it was Romanized. Then we had like Old English, which in itself seems really weird. Have you ever read Old English? It's it like Beowulf, for instance. Just try and read the first page of Beowulf in Old English. That. Die, sir, it's... or would you like to go? Wait, when no, they no, spoke no, no, no. Die and whatnot. The Shakespearean language, or? Oh no, 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 no. That that there is like classical English. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up for you, and I'll, I'll I'll just read out a few words. I'm gonna read it out so badly, because anyone that actually can read all the English is gonna laugh at me for it. Um, but let's see. It's like. By the way, I, it's it's so hard to read. Just so you know, I just fought a freaking ghost sword or something, cursed sword. I don't know why I did it, but it was kind of cool. For the funds. Let's see, it's like... Nam Zayum Dazun... That sounds like you're casting a spell on me, stop! <laughs> it does, it's like... <laughs> I am summoning the demon of the language! <laughs> I mean, I mean, the font that this is written in is so hard as well, so I'm gonna see if I can bring up one that's easier to read. Uh, By the way, you played, you played Warcraft 3? Yeah, I did. Long you remember ago. the cinematics? You mean like, you're talking like, say, like, Archimon speaking the... Yes, exactly that. Exactly like, that. Mutar, nutar, nutar, <laughs> or something. You sounded exactly like the... <laughs> I was like, holy crap, he's gonna destroy the town now. Yeah, I'm drawing <laughs> circles in the sand and I'm, I'm lifting up these little towers and everything and I'm just gonna be so awesome. On other news, <laughs> the Big Ben is not so big anymore. <laughs> big Ben is uh, mysteriously sort of broke. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's Old English, but it doesn't even resemble English at all. Um, let's see. The letters look the same, at least, or are they what? The letters do they look the same? Nope. Oh, okay. Even, even like Old English, um, like you got like Old English had to be adapted from the Anglo-Saxon, basically, like mm -hmm. say, which the, the alphabet of that is completely different. Still, it's not Latin at all. Now, Old English did have Latin. Um, symbols and everything, but it also had a bunch of extras in it too that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, all right, let, let, let's see. Um, I think you just summoned a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, sir, where's the toilet? I need to pee. I'm not, I was gonna look at it. Of many clans of Mead settlements. Or something. It's so I was like... close about the. Excuse me, sir, I need to pee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it means I need some mead. Uh, essentially. It's like. Um, there are. It's like, if I was to look at Gaelic, Gaelic confuses me more because, well, Gaelic in its origins is older. Um, Even older than the, the Old English? Yeah, much older. Because wow. Gaelic, see, is related to Pictish. That's pretty and, old. And Pictish is a lot older than Old English. Uh, right. Let's see, an example of Gaelic. I, I'm, I'm looking for it. Gaelic is a language that has been modernized to the to the point where you can read it and everything you know so it is all in latin alphabet like let's see the word filete is welcome a what filete 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 file theft when you you you, you you when you what <laughs> file theft <laughs> yeah when you when you thieving when you files fail. Oh, I thought when you're uh, stealing uh, files, basically. File test. Oh, no, 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 no F on the end. Um, file test. <laughs> file test. Te. 
Without the yeah. T and the, without the F. Yeah, without anything on the end, just file tech. File tech. Yeah. And then like basically the Scottish Gaelic for hello is hallo. Hallo. Yeah, the hello. Irish Gaelic is like Hylio. Hylium. Or, or Dia Duit, which means God be with you. Dia Duit. <laughs> yeah, it's like weird like Kiamma That sounds like elfish to be honest. <laughs> Kiama, it's like, or Chiama, or Chiama, I don't know, Kiama a tha tu, which means, how are you? I'm pretty good, how are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. Um, let's see, it's like, let's see, Kiama a tha which means, like, how are you in plural? Uh, my dan ma Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I can't even pronounce it. It's like good morning. <laughs> Holy crap. Good morning, sir. Oh, yeah. What is your name? De An Taim Ata Ort. Holy crap. <laughs> These are languages that are here in Britain that a lot of people are like. You know, well, where are those languages from? Are they like from, I don't know, like in Eastern Europe or something? It's like, no, these are in Britain. Just, yeah. There, there are just not as many people who speak them anymore. Like, let's see. What do you mean, uh, not as many people? There's nobody who speaks that anymore. Oh, and Mimic. Are, there are. And Mimic. Nice. Killed it. Here we are. In 2011, there were 3,000 students learning Gaelic. Wasting their time. <laughs> they say it's the, Sc the Scottish and Irish language. I went to college with a woman who could fully speak Irish Gaelic. You know Al, Al Murray? Al Murray? Al Murray, yeah. He's a British uh, uh, stand-up comedian, I guess. Uh, I don't know. A bald guy. He usually drinks beer on his show. Oh, yeah, 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 that one. Looks like a big boy. Huh? <laughs> Looks like a big boy, you know, like, um, essentially, you know, like a, a big little boy. Yeah. He acts like a little boy sometimes. Yeah. 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 So, one of his most famous lines is time waster, when he asks people what they do for a living. So, those, those students are right up there. Yeah, I mean, well, really, they want to preserve their language of their country and everything, which I suppose is fine. Um, I understand that, but there's nobody who speaks it. Well, if they're you just go like, to... hmm, I'm gonna preserve it, but there's nobody here to speak it with, you know, except for the other. Mm, you're kind of wrong. You're kind of wrong about that because there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people in Scotland and Ireland that speak it, and there are road signs that have it, and entire villages that speak it. So it is a well and alive language, but it's very, very old. You just um, said that nobody speaks it. No, 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 no. I'm talking. I said Pictish. Nobody speaks anymore because we oh, right. barely know anything about it anymore. Right. We only I'm, have I'm not listening. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we only have say a few runes of Pictish, and they look like donuts with writing on them. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's so it's like strangeness incarnate. Basically, it's like wow. How would we even begin to read this stuff? <laughs> then it's donuts. like uh, let's look at very very ancient Gaelic and try and compare them. You know, to see if we can find out what they say. <laughs> I, I'm reading something about an old English king, mm. King Canut the Great. I'm just thinking, you got the N in the wrong place. King what? King. Canut. C N U T. C N U T. Can you I, not I, I would, pronounce my name? Cannot pronounce my name? I, I would say it's a bit cunt. Sorry, King, I cannot pronounce your name today. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I cannot pronounce your name, dude. Yep. What is your name again? It's cannot. I cannot pronounce it, sorry. <laughs> but, like, no, there, no. there are, like, things about this King Cannot, dude. A proclamation from his King Cannot to the Earl Thorkel the Tall or something, written in 1020 AD. Cannot 
Tine greet his archbiscopas and his leod I'm dead. I'm an idiot. It's like, well, don't worry. I'm I'm putting you off here by talking about this old. No, no. I, I, I was trying. No, it's not you. I was trying something that I thought that might work. I was wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it's like. Your viewers are like, what the fuck is this Hildegain talking about? Yep. <laughs> like, really? Where'd you get this guy? <laughs> Where the hell's he from? Well, we're like, talking about Knut, guys. And yeah, you, you should, you should actually Knut? check Hildegain's channel. And it will be in the comments, uh, in the description below. Yeah, I've got this guy on there called Thorkel the Tall. The what? Thorkel the Tall, the guy I was just talking about. <laughs> but yeah, my, my channel is um, only for retards, so if you're above 10 IQ, you probably yeah. shouldn't go because you're going to get dragged down to that level. You might. Just, you you might. might, yeah. If you listen to too much of this, you might just become one of my faithful zombies and that would be really, really awesome <laughs> for me. Faithful zombies. <laughs> But yeah, it's like it's like I, I'm surprised that any of my viewers have any intelligence left because like, you you, you have to tap out to tap to the live stream for a sec. I am there already. Okay. Do you see this maze? This uh, wrench. Superior iron. Oh, old massive wrench. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could equip it, but I cannot. It's it's for engineer basically. They use wrenches, huge huge wrenches. <laughs> It's an interesting style of weapon. Yeah, and the the thing is, you can spec your engineer as the engineer in TF2, like lots of turrets and whatnot, healing bots, whatever. Holy crap! They rate my HP to like one percent from one hundred. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, I just saw that big explosion and all your health disappear. Yeah, I'm I'm actually surprised that I'm still alive. Somehow. I mean, it's like I I, I love the I... sorry. Go no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, my friend. I I love it how you can dodge stuff like they fire at you like a like, I don't know a path of frost or something and you just move away. You know, it slightly curves around to try and follow you, though, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's not like a homing beacon. You know. Well, yeah, I know. It's meant to just make it a little bit difficult if there's a bunch of them. Exactly, but you can still avoid it if you want. But one of the greatest things in this game is the the loot, you know, the the inventory management. You don't really care about what you pick up because you pick up everything. In, in Diablo 3, for example, from what I saw, uh, people are complaining that they're not they're, they need to be like they spend they need to spend some time to be cautious on what they pick up and what they not pick up you know because white items they're they're just sell for nothing and they're waste of space you know yeah and kind of reminds me of when I was playing Diablo 2 then <laughs> well in Diablo 2 it's even worse I guess because you have uh, the items are much larger uh, in capacity of like two by four, or three by, you know, two by three, etc. And in here, each item is like one box, okay? And you got like fifty of them. And if your uh, inventory is filled, you just use your pet inventory, right? Like I do. I mean. I, I usually don't fill up my inventory too much. I have got I, I've got like gazillion gems and I have zero sockets to put it in. Yeah. And there's a day and night circle here as well. Cycle. Cycle circle. <laughs> circle. So, yeah. yeah. I, I noticed that but it's like I, I didn't notice it until a very, very long time, and I was like, the place seems darker a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, it's night time now. Awesome. Yeah. That's, that's cool. I mean, and also there's those golden keys that you, you can find, like, golden chests, locked golden chests spread all over. Hello there. And, uh, yeah, basically you need those keys. 
and they are rare to find.